So for those of you who are uh, unfamiliar with this brand, uh, Anchor is a Chinese brand that was founded in 2011 by ex-Google engineer Stephen Yang. They debuted on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange on August 24th. Uh, their target is one billion in sales in 2020, which is unbelievable. Um, you know, when we talk about growing an empire, uh, this is a true empire. And when you look at companies that are going public, there's not a ton of companies that you know solely focus on Amazon sales that are going public. And so this is super exciting for uh, those selling it in the Amazon world, and, and really an inspirational story. So, a couple of things that really stood out to me in this article was. Um, that the company sold 46 million units uh, in 2019, uh, which is unbelievable. Uh, their sales continue to grow. And again, only started in 2011. This company is not that old. I think that's, yeah, that that's actually kind of crazy. I want to revisit that. So they're nine, it's a nine-year-old company. And, it, and in 2020, their expected growth, they, they almost hit a billion in 2019 and their sales are up 25 percent on the year so they're easily going to surpass 1 billion in nine years and what's crucial is that i guess one piece that's really shocking to me is that they're an amazon native brand meaning they started on amazon and they've grown on amazon so yeah that's that's pretty startling actually absolutely Another thing that stood out to me was uh, only 146,000 followers on Instagram, which is a pretty decent following. However, if you were to compare their valuation to uh, other companies their size, you would you would expect uh, them to have a much greater social media following. And you know what what I think that speaks to is is just doing it right on Amazon. And you know certainly there are brands that are that are helped by social media, but um, you know, they, they talk about focusing on just delivering really high quality products. Uh, there's a focus on customer reviews and, you know, they focused on Amazon and, and now they're a public company with a market cap of $8 billion. Yeah, absolutely. And, and they're doing Amazon right. Like they, they know they have it down to a science, obviously, right? The CEO speaks to how Amazon reviews drive their product development. So like they're just culling information out of Amazon's ecosystem and using it to develop their products. You know, um, there was uh, one bit in here where I don't want to get into the pr actual product, but it was kind of funny that they actually launched a product that competes with Amazon. And so it's like, you know, they, they kind of stepped up their game in, the, in that regard, meaning they can, they can compete with Amazon. Um, you know, another thing that kind of stood out to me was that, you know, they say Anchor is a native Amazon brand, meaning they started and developed and grew on Amazon, but now they're in Best Buy, Walmart, uh, Apple stores. And so they've since expanded their empire, which is, you know, pretty incredible to go to go that route, which, you know, I think is a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of open space right now for a lot of e-commerce sellers that have native Amazon brands and then branch out. You know, you can kind of use that that growth to fuel other sales channels. For sure, for sure. The CEO said that that 50% of their staff work on research and development. And you know, that that to me, um, obviously they're doing it right. Uh, but that to me really stood out and it made me evaluate how much of my time as a solopreneur am I spending on, on research and development. And if I'm being honest, I would say it's less than 5%. You know, you get caught up being an owner operator and get caught up in, in the day to day business. And, and I think that, you know, just carving off one day per week, uh, researching new products, reading negative reviews and listening to the voice of the customer. I think that's a positive ROI activity and something that I as I you know map out my weeks, that's something I need to spend a little bit more time on. What what, what about you? How much time are you spending on research and development? You know what? Uh, not a whole lot, uh, but but I do. You know, whenever I do go to launch a new product or do product research, uh, you know, I'm I'm looking at Amazon customer reviews from my competitors, or if it's not in the space, something similar. So that same um, methodology that Anchor uses, I use that same same bit, but uh, definitely don't have the resources like Anchor to have uh, 
a huge staff doing a R&D, um, but it is, it is crucial at, for growth and expansion.